Venezuela. Moving into the semifinals from the Americas is Venezuela. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you did it. Boy, these wild card spots are tough. Listen, you began college at the age of 15. What was it like studying alongside students who were so much older than you? Well, it was not so easy because at first I didn't know how to relate with older people and professional. But then I, I now I learned to relate with her, with uh, following their example with responsibility and discipline. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Venezuela. Venezuela, you're up. I have learned to be confident, constant, and determined woman. Thanks to the example for my mother, who gave me the valor for in, my, in my family. He fought and beat the cancer in a country where the people suffer the, co the consequence do done finding the medicine. I am here so proud to shout to the world that we Venezuelans are warriors of love. Captain Cat Island. Indonesia, step up to the mic. Earning the third spot is... Venezuela! Soy estudiante del quinto semestre de Derecho. Decidí estudiar Derecho porque siempre me ha llamado la atención esta carrera. Creo que es una carrera que me puede ayudar a tener un alcance, a aportar algo a mi país, a aportar algo a las personas que más lo necesitan hoy en día. Mi familia es muy grande, repleta de mujeres y de unos chiquitos que alegran nuestras vidas. Todos los fines de semana mi abuela hacía empanadas. Adiós, ¿cómo está? Mis tías y yo la ayudábamos a hacer y vender las empanadas. Ellas me enseñaron que el trabajo es lo que más nos dignifica y que a pesar de las adversidades podemos salir, salir adelante. Venezuela. Venezuela. Wow, her turns have always been incredible. She's a perfectionist. She came with a plan and every move she does is well thought out and executed. Wow, this is a high-impact, nude illusion look. Very glamorous, beautiful with her skin tone. A crowd favorite here. She's able to walk in this, too, with a nice sense of ease. Uh, and it's got that great silhouette. This is a really winning look for Miss Venezuela. Six women are still hoping to advance to the next round, but there's only one spot left. Keeping her dream alive is... Venezuela! Say hello to our final five. One of these amazing women will become our next Miss Universe. As exciting as it is to make it this far, our contestants have no time to celebrate because right now they face the question. Miss Universe takes on a great responsibility working as a global ambassador. She must be sharp, quick on her feet, and able to communicate with clarity and confidence. Contestants, 
Get ready, because your answers will determine who makes it to the final three. Tonight's questions were written by some people who know you very, very well, your fellow contestants. Now, once I read your question, you'll have 30 seconds to deliver your answer. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Puerto Rico, Vietnam, and Venezuela will be using an interpreter. Here we go. Venezuela, get ready. How are you? I'm excited. Yes. Well, what would you say to someone who believes that pageants are archaic and against the feminist movement? ¿Qué le diría una persona que piensa que los certámenes de belleza son anticuados y que van en contra del movimiento feminista? Hoy en día estamos en una era en la cual hemos avanzado muchísimo. Nowadays we live in an era in which we have advanced greatly. Los certámenes de belleza no son solo de belleza, también son de sensibilidad, de responsabilidad y de corazón. Beauty pageants are not just about beauty, they're about sensitivity and about having a heart. En ellos podemos mostrar que jóvenes como yo podemos lograr alcanzar todas las metas que nos propongamos en el mundo. En beauty pageants, we can show that women like me can achieve any dreams that we may have in the world. Japonca, Thailand. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, our five finalists, our five finalists have just answered some very difficult questions, and now our selection committee must decide who's still in the running. When we come back, these women will face another elimination. And later, it's our final look with a performance by three-time Grammy winner, Neo. This is Miss Universe live from Thailand. There is only one name left for the other two finalists. Unfortunately, your Miss Universe dream ends tonight. Our final contestant in the top three is Venezuela! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. Congratulations. But you three finalists, you have to stay right there where you are because the next round begins right now. It's time for the final word. Now, each contestant will be asked the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. You've each got 45 seconds to respond. If you go over time, you'll hear this sound. Venezuela will be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. South Africa and Venezuela, headphones on. Please remove Venezuela's headphones. Venezuela, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here is your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? ¿Cuál es la lección más importante que has aprendido en tu vida y cómo aplicarías eso en tu reinado como Miss Universo? Crecí en una familia llena de mujeres. I grew up in a family filled with women. Y cada una de ellas me enseñó algo muy importante. And each one of them taught me something very important. Pero lo que siempre recuerdo es que trabajando, luchando por nuestros sueños. But what I always remembered is that by working hard and chasing for our dreams, Y llenándonos de coraje, fuerza y confianza, podemos lograr todas y cada una de las metas que nos propongamos en esta vida. 
And by having courage and strength and willingness to, willingness to achieve these dreams, we can achieve anything we want in this lifetime. Y esta noche lo corroboro, estando aquí en el Miss Universo. And no. tonight I'm proving this, I am here at Miss Universe. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, we will see all three of you later for your final look. Each of our three impressive contestants have gotten in their final word. Well, I wish that final word would work for me at my house, but it don't. Anyway, let's stick around because our three finalists get one last chance to show us what they got in their final look, along with the performance by three-time Grammy-winning Neo. Miss Universe returns. Once again, for Neo, each of these three women stand within reach of the title. When we return, it's the moment you've been waiting for all night. We crown the next Miss Universe, so don't go away. Well, welcome back, everybody. Earlier tonight, we welcomed the reigning Miss Universe to this stage. Now it's time for her final walk before passing the crown to another amazing woman. Ladies and gentlemen, Tall Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has tallied the votes. All right. Me and you, man. All right. Finalists, it's time. I will now announce the second runner-up. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Venezuela. Congratulations, Venezuela.